What's going on guys? Welcome to another episode of DOPE, which stands for Dual Opinions with an Understood E for Everyone. So we're not going to get too explicit here. So uh, welcome back to another episode. It's been forever since I've done one of these. Um, and we're not doing Gundam this time. We are doing a... I think it's kind of new. It's newer. It's called New Game, which... Uh, honestly, it's about like these group of girls that are like on the uh, i think they're the art division or at least the yeah. the main characters in this story are the art division of a video game development team and it kind of goes through their shenanigans of creating a game called i think it's like fairy stories or something like that yeah fairy story three yeah that one so i think we're just gonna give like a generic i guess talk about it we didn't really start yeah with a topic this time because we, we couldn't think of one i mean this anime is like only 12 episodes long so it was kind of hard to like focus on like a character like how we did for gundam where we took a character out of a 50 plus episode series <laughs> out of one where we <laughs> deal with 12 episodes so i think we're just going to start talking about stuff but um this is my friend john known as res dan on other social media platforms i'll link his stuff in the description below if you want to go check out his stuff and he's going to be my co-star slash partner for this video. So um, I think John might let you start things hey. off to take the pressure off of me because I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, uh, New Game is a manga adaptation of an anime uh, based on a four coma series. You know, the four panel style uh, manga. Yeah. So it very much reflects that in its structure. It is very quick gags repeated for 24 minutes so man uh, it's kind of like i would say it's exhausting but it manages not to be with how quickly it delivers everything you know what i mean yeah it very quickly goes through a ton of jokes i can't like think of a lot of them off the top of my head but i know one of them like there was one point where i, for, I forget her name but I, I can't remember most of the girls' names, but give the, me the hair color. It's hair color. it's the brown haired one, the one that's on the motion team. Hajime. Yeah, that one. She was talking about like all the stuff she has on her desk and whatever. Yeah. And she'd made like one reference to like a like rip yeah. off of an anime Andy man or whatever. I, yeah, I can't. I don't know what anime it's from. Yeah, I, I that or reference was a little lost for me too. And unless it's like Cowboy Bebop, Space Dandy, I don't know. It was know. probably like Space Dandy. Like Th That's what I'm thinking because the character's was the name was literally thing. Dandy, I think. Yeah. But it's like, it like jokes like that. Through every single person telling a joke about Dandy. Yeah, it's, like, it's stuff like that where it keeps it just constant. It's kind of like yeah. just like on a conveyor belt. It's like one joke, one joke, one joke. It's, it's very fast-paced. Yeah, it's really fast-paced, but that's also nice. Like I got through this series... Yeah pretty quick it took me only like yeah. three days plus like a four day break for the last two episodes <laughs> it was pretty much the same for me it just like it doesn't feel like you've watched a whole episode by the end yeah like every time like you get to the middle and pop up the title card i would super surprised like what this this was halfway over or did yeah I know? But it was like, like uh, uh one thing that i really liked about it was the uh the opening the opening was super cute. I it didn't do anything like the opening. If I had a problem with it, is that it didn't do anything narratively interesting. Oh no! Like not it wasn't at all. directed interestingly, but it's for a moe comedy, so it kind of gets away with that, you know? Yeah, but it like, showed off the girl's personality. It was cute. The song was catchy. It was colorful. It did the things it needed to do. Yeah, it just kind of like I don't know. It was like the anime in general wasn't really that narrative because. Yeah, it was kind of like, oh, you're on a development a team gag. for a game. Now we're gonna have like two episodes of you actually doing things for the game, and then yeah. the rest of it's gonna be like random stuff. And then the last episode or two is gonna be like, oh, y'all need to finish this up, and that's it. Yeah. No, I mean, I thought it got a little more narrative heavy after like the fifth or sixth episode. Once it kind of it gotten all its gags out, introducing its characters, it kind of focused a little more on the narrative, but it still was a very much a comedy show. I think you know? when they brought in, uh, okay, guys, just for like one, one thing, we're gonna be talking a lot about like si like specific things that happen in it. This is this is gonna have like some review aspects, but it's gonna be like 
you're going to need to watch it to understand some of the stuff that we talk about in this. Yeah. So this might be a video you will want to watch after you watch the anime. It's a 12 episode series, 24 episodes, easily available. Yeah. Go watch it. It's cute. You'll enjoy it. Yeah. It's, it's actually really good, but, um, I feel like it got somewhat more narrative when they brought in, um, Umiko? No. The dark skinned girl? Her and, um, Purple Hair's little friend. Uh, Nene. Yeah, like Ninichi or whatever they... Ninichi. However they, they her, pronounce yeah. her name is incredibly weird. But, um, her. After yeah. they brought in her with, like, the, the debug team or whatever, I thought it got somewhat more narrative, but I feel like it yeah. was just, like, more, like, how you said, like, comedy-driven shenanigans. I mean, that's, you know, that's kind of what I came in and expecting, was cute girls with a couple of gags. Yeah. And that's about what you get out of it. Now, it, they're pretty funny. Like there was a, there was a great gag in episode like ten, where it was like Alba's first day going back to work on a Saturday, and she saw like some family of three going to the zoo, and um, she was getting a little depressed. And then oh gosh, uh, that was like closer to the end. Yeah, and that, no, I, that was, was like just... kind of like heavy. I was like, whoa. <laughs> That's but then like her supervisor reality. like walks up behind her. Comes up behind. Don't look, you'll get depressed. Yeah, I was like, dude, that's like the like, harsh reality, honestly. Yeah. I mean, I appreciated moments like that to kind of slow down the uh, more fast-paced nature of the show. Yeah. Uh, especially because they didn't overuse them. It mm. was mostly just, hey, joke, no joke, time for another joke. Yeah. But every now and then they'd hit like on some pretty cool themes, which I think would hit us harder if we were not college students and had a busier work schedule. Yeah, but I mean... But still, I kind of, you know, you get the gist of it. Yeah. I mean, it's like, uh, one thing I thought was just absolutely crazy. Like, she had, like, just gotten out of high school or whatever, and she went to go work at a gaming company. I was like, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, I don't know. I, I think that was mostly done just for narrative convenience. Yeah, I think and it was just like, hey, anime is targeted towards high school students and above. <laughs> so, pff, here you go. Yeah. <laughs> Same age. I mean, you know, don't watch the show if you want, like, a realistic look at how creating video yeah, games no. is. <laughs> This is not it. it. It's, a, it's not. Go watch, like, Shirobako or something if you want that. See, like, you know all this stuff. I only ugh, I only watch anime that's, like, mech-based, <laughs> as you can tell with all of this stuff behind me that you can barely You say see. you watch mech-based anime, but I can't get you to watch Gurren Lagann. It's on my watch list. I'm, like, severely Gundam-based. <laughs> it's only, like, a few Gundams that I've seen. I still haven't seen all of it. Dude, haven't you watched, like, like the first, like, ten seasons or something? I mean, or series? There is a lot. Um, I can read them off. Okay, let's see. Let's... Let me look behind me. I've got <laughs> some of Gundam X. I've got the original Gundam series. I've got Gundam Build Fighters, Gundam Build Fighters Try, Gundam Wing, Gundam C, Gundam C Destiny, um, Zeta Gundam, Double Zeta Gundam. Mm... I think that's actually it, besides like all the OVAs that go with them. In like the side Still, series, I, I mean, mean and like, every Gundam series is like fifty plus episodes long. Yeah, except for nah, build man. build fighters, that's like twenty four. You, I, I like maybe one day I'll watch like Iron Blooded Orphans. That's uh, like that's the crazy part one. Okay, we are getting severely off topic here. Yeah, let's, well, <laughs> another anyway. episode, another day. Yeah, new game. Um, yeah, new game is a very very comedy driven anime and it's like it's one that you i guess you can take a break on i keep on banging the table and it brings my mouse back up (laughs) i need to like stop doing that because it'll mess up the screen yeah but um no it's like this would be a show that would be great to pair with something like heavy yeah like i I don't know if you're watching like one of those gore filled like tokyo ghoul or danganronpa or whatever it's called yeah, something... I don't know if Daniel wrote but I don't know, anyway. It's pretty gross. Something no, like, Mirai Nikki. Mirai yeah? Nikki is what I'm, t- I'm thinking oh, about. Oh, that's a completely different series, man. Yeah, I know. Uh, but yeah, no, it, it would be, pair well with that, because it's really lighthearted, comedy-driven. There's not a lot of drama, enough to break up the pacing every now and then, but for the most part, it's yeah. very lighthearted. And I think that shows a lot in how it was directed and the art direction. It almost never does anything, like, super engaging with its animation or art i mean it i is... liked the art style for some reason like in most no, it's super pleasant yeah but like it's not like 
narratively important, you know? Like, there's some shows that, like, do amazing things to scenes by directing the art in some way. Chain, like, doing something interesting with lighting or how the scene is set. New Game really doesn't do that, and it doesn't have to because it's a comedy. I mean, there's pretty much an office for, like, 90% of the time. Yeah, and, you know, the office is well-developed, and there's a lot of detail in the background. One little piece that I did appreciate in the background was that um, Alba's desk... There was like little. It started out really empty, but as the show progressed, oh yeah, she had like the character sheet of Sophia yeah. on the wall. I thought that was pretty cool, and like her little villager that she did. Yeah, they started. They added stuff, so there was something going on in the background, but it was, you know, it's it's a comedy. <laughs> it doesn't need good animation, and you can tell that they really saved it for only a couple of shots. Yeah, there was like one part that really stuck in my head, just like when you're talking about stuff on their desk, is when. Mm-hmm. She had to, like, spend the night for the first time, and she, like, went all dramatic with, like, her bear thing. Yeah, yeah. I thought that was with so the... funny. And then when she laid down, like, all the stuff on, like, Yoon's desk and, uh, ha- I think Hajime, isn't that her name? Hajime. Yeah, yeah, on her desk, it was, like, looking at her. She's like, I can't sleep with this stuff looking yeah. at me. I thought that was really funny. No, that was a good series of gags. I, that was a really good episode in general, I think. Yeah. I think the but, uh, ca- like the characters in general were pretty good too. Like my, if I, I had a complaint. I think Yoon got really underdeveloped. Who? Oh, Yoon. Yoon. I thought that too. I thought she that didn't too. get like she got so little screen time, and like she only had a couple of facets to her personality. Yeah, you know? she was one of my favorites. She, I liked her. Uh, I think I liked uh, Hifumi was probably my favorite of those four in that cubicle. Eh, I don't know. I, I like mean, the like, shag. <laughs> I thought her gag, especially in the early gags where she refused to talk and only would message people. Yeah. I thought, that I thought was it was like, funny. It was cute. Yeah. I, I don't know. I thought my favorite characters out of the people in the office had to be Yoon, Hajime, or whatever the blonde hair girl Yagami or Nanechi. N- not the small one. Yagami. That one. Those yeah. three were my favorites. Yagami cool. How do you not know her name? That was like the name that I don't the know. Most. <laughs> like every set, every episode, Yagami san, Yagami san, Yagami san. I finished my model. I know it started it with the Y. I can't remember what it was though. <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know. Like but... Yoon was the one that I had so much trouble remembering her name. Oh no, I because... can remember her name out of like all of them. I don't know why. I guess you just liked her and it kind of stuck because of that. I don't know. I liked her a lot. Like. Yeah. In the intro, like, of the first episode, I'm like, I like that one. It's like yeah. going into, like, a like a pet store looking at a dog. Be like, I like that <laughs> one. <laughs> That's my favorite girl. I don't know why, but I liked her a lot just through the intro. And, like, yeah, he, no, like the intro when they did the singing thing, boy, I loved that part. I, I thought that, that was trope. so clever. I love that trope. When I just, loved when it. All the characters are singing along to the song. I've never seen that before, though. Really, that's the first. No, I've never that? seen that before. It's always it's always a really cute and clever thing. I think in an opening. I mean, it's probably in like Love Live all the time, but. I mean, Love Live. It's what yeah, it runs it off of. Love, <laughs> love Live's openings are all depictions of a concert. Yeah. It's just like, so, but no, even a lot of other series that do will do that. Uh, I'm trying to think of one off the top of my head, that did that. Uh, it's slipping me. I can't remember one right now. But it's, you know, it happens a lot. I think I might have seen one one more that did that, but I can't remember what it is. I thought this one, actually, speaking of it, was really well animated. Mm -hmm. That that opening cut. Oh, I loved it! I loved that part! where Where all four were singing, I thought it was actually, like, one of the smartest ways to introduce these characters. Because it was super expressive. It showed you a lot about every character. And yeah. Like, in seconds. Yeah, you know? like, um, Hajime or whatever was incredibly expressive with, like, flailing her arm yeah. about and stuff like that. I, I, I just loved observed, it. Just kind of bobbing her head. Uh, Hifumi was, like, super shy and typed up the last bit of her lyrics. Which I could not read, but... <laughs> that was the... I'm pretty sure it's the last bit of the lyrics. I mean, probably. I, I could go back and actually, like, read it. I just kind of, like, saw it flash on screen and assumed. Yeah. But, I mean, like... One thing about the actual, like, art of it, for some reason, I'm a sucker for, like, really nice anime eyes. And for some reason, 
these were like super soft and awesome. I don't know what it yep. was about it, but they were just different. Just like the structure of the characters were yep. so different. They were they were all incredibly soft, if you know what I mean. Yeah, they kind of I kind of get what you They kind of felt I almost felt like I was watching like the chibi version of these characters half yes, the time. Yes, like that I guess that's what I mean by soft. Is it like I guess Yeah. Well they were very rounded. rounded. <laughs> That sounds terrible. But no, they were they were very like char- the character design leaned around more than like sharp mm-hmm. edges or whatever. But I liked that because it's it's yeah. not a gritty anime for one thing. But like it looks good, but also it really helps like the vibe of the show. Everything it's supposed to be relaxing and funny. So by making the characters like super, I don't know, visually pleasing, like as- they're very soft and it, it kind of just fit the tone. Yeah, one thing I thought was a nice move on like the story part was bringing ninichi into umiko's like work station yeah because umiko would have not gotten like any development at all if it wasn't for yeah. that she just would have no, been like, got, like an awful character she got like her one intro episode and then if it hadn't been for that it probably yeah would have she would have kind of ended no it was a smart way to tie in two characters especially because they were very contrasting oh yeah incredibly so it, you know, it's just that's just good setup for gags. Like, put the energetic and childish one with the super serious and easily angered one. Mm-hmm. There was like it's one not part... revolutionary writing, but it's always solid. Yeah, but like when you're like talking about tying in characters, um, yeah. when um Aoba and Ninichi went to like that movie or whatever, and how oh, like yeah. oh I don't want to go see this. this is for children, and then like literally almost every single person from their office space was there. I thought that was pretty yeah, funny. Yeah. But, was, like, they never like, notice each other. Yeah. No, speaking of that, um, there was the episode where they went to the trade fair. And none of them could ever find Hifumi because she was in cosplay at oh, the event. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I oh. thought that was just, like, a cute, clever touch. I thought they would have, like, at least seen her, though. And then yeah. they would have gotten her all flabbergasted and stuff. But I was just like, okay, you can just leave her, I guess. But, all right. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I thought it it was just, like, it was funny and self-aware in a way I didn't necessarily expect from the show. Really? I saw it coming, like, a mile away when they are like, oh, she's already there. I'm like... No, I actually... Like, it didn't surprise me necessarily when I saw it, but it was, like... They mentioned, like, once offhandedly that she did cosplay. And she did her best to downplay it or whatever. And, I don't know, it was just kind of like, oh, yeah, that's that's a character trait that I thought the show had forgot about. And it didn't. Oh, no. I, I didn't think it would, but... You guys you just have more faith. Yeah. There was, like... I'm used I, to being disappointed. One thing I thought was just, like, super weird was, like, the airsoft stuff. That was, like, <laughs> the know. weirdest stuff. I, I don't know. That was, like... That was just one of those other moments that kind of was, like, super, like, out there for me. Like, yeah, yeah you, your company's just cool with you building an airsoft training course on top of your building. Yeah, and then, like, so um, okay. when she first pulled out, like, her pistol, I'm like, okay, pull out a gun in the <laughs> workspace, all right. And then it was, like, Yeah, airsoft. no, that was surprising. Those things hurt! Shooting someone, yeah, like, in do. the forehead from, like, right here, that's gonna, like, bruise and swell <laughs> really bad. Which yeah. I should know. <laughs> <laughs> like, airsoft is, like, pretty painful if you get into the heavy stuff. Yeah. And she had an arsenal at her desk. <laughs> Dude, that company is so lax. Incredibly like, lax. Like, Hashime's desk is just filled with random figurines and items. I don't know how she they got sword? anything done. What? I mean, I don't know. I've got, like, Sword Art Online swords in my closet, but not in freaking where I work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just you have it behind the counter. Yeah, walking around and being like, well, hello, I'm a weeaboo. <laughs> 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 Did you get everything uh, yeah. you needed today, um, Desu? <laughs> medicine's that way. There's the chips. <laughs> yeah, with the sword. It's yeah, like, it's over here. And stuff's down that way. <laughs> no, never. But yeah, I mean, no, like, it... there is like on Halloween. One of my managers was like, "Why don't we dress up when we come in for Halloween?" I'm like, "I am so into that." Okay, dress. I will totally do it. <laughs> um, yeah. Anyway, with. With this anime in general, I thought it was a good a good anime in general. Yeah, it was but good. I feel like some things just like I thought there'd be more 
narrative driven stuff like when she was first learning how to do the 3d modeling i thought it would show more of her learning stuff like oh how to shade and how to do all yeah. this take it step by step and be like oh i just learned how to 3d model in two days no you didn't it takes way longer than two days i'll tell you what <laughs> but she's super smart and good and stuff yeah you have to be super smart and good if you go into a gaming company right after high school <laughs> yeah i don't <laughs> it was kind of disappointing. They could have done more realistic, but it kind of felt to me like the author doesn't necessarily isn't super connected yeah, to have you, the industry. Did you read the manga beforehand? Uh, like years ago. Because I had never heard of it before until the anime. Years ago, and I think I quit about at the point where the anime ended. Mm. Oh, so it goes on. Oh, well, that's yeah, why there's, there's a second season I mean, there's a second out. season coming out in, like, a couple months. Actually, or, like, I think the first this episode month? started airing this month. Really? It will air this month. I think, like, July 6th. Pretty cool. I think. I, I, I'll probably watch it week by week. I'll probably watch I, it all when it's done, because I yeah. splurge episodes. Now, I'll probably find, like, something this uh, season that I need a refresher afterwards, and I'll just use it like that. Yeah. Like we recommended at the beginning of this. Mm-hmm. Oh, God, all that stuff. There's so much. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of stuff coming out this season. Yeah. Uh, I'm not really sure what else to talk about at this point. Any... Uh, did anything strike you? Like, the soundtrack, I thought, was just, like, kind of uh, average. Yeah, I mean, it was all bouncy stuff. Just yeah. the one thing that stood out to me was just the opening. But that was because of visuals and plus the music. I thought the song was super cute. Yeah, the, the song and, like, was good. Catchy. I mean, but, the opening was, like, good for when they did, like, the everyone singing at one point. Then it's, like, standard anime stuff. It's, like, oh, just, like, yeah, standing in an open part. field by yourself. And everyone else is behind you. And then you all just, you know, it's 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 cliches. Yeah. But, I mean, I mean it, the, like I said. There's a reason why cliches was, work. Yeah. I don't know. I liked a couple of those shots. Not because they were inventive, but just because they were well composed. They looked good. Mm -hmm. The character designing in the show is good, like, so it's pretty easy to make stuff look good with them in it. One thing that I saw in, uh, I don't know if it did the same thing for you, but in the, like, adult drinking party part, there yeah. was, um, I forget who got drunk, but I think it was, like, the purple hair girl, and then, uh, the one that starts with the Y, blonde hair. Rin and Yagami? Yes, them. I think they got, like, drunk after a while. Yeah. And then when they were talking... The subtitles were written yeah. that way. Like, yeah. when... <laughs> I forget what, but, like, if they said something like... It was just, like, the lettering was off. Yeah. And it was, like, spelled weird. So I was like, that's really funny. Like, that's I really mean, funny. That was one of those things... Did it do it where, for you? Yeah. I, I thought that was on, hilarious. Uh, and okay. I thought it was funny. I mean, it made sense. Like, they were, they were very clearly slurring their words. Mm-hmm. So, it... I don't know. It was good subtitles. Yeah. It, that was good typesetting and whatever. I just thought that was hilarious. <laughs> yeah. Speaking of that, did you uh, stay for the after the uh, credits gag at the end of the last episode? Yes. Oh my gosh, I thought that was so funny. I actually laughed. Like that was out that was one loud. of the few gags that like most of them just made me like, eh. but that was that made me made me uh, laugh. Oh my gosh. Like I don't want to say too much about it, but I do. Just like when Ninichi came out. I mean, we prefaced the... this with spoilers. So. Yeah, well, I mean, like, when Ninichi came out at the end, and then <laughs> she was like, oh what's the God. big deal? She has, like, the freaking M16 or whatever on her back, and the cop's just yeah. like, what? I no, thought that, that was, was hilarious. Good. Oh, my gosh. Just like, a small child coming at you with this yeah. big assault rifle attached to her back. I thought that was so funny. <laughs> it was oh a good gosh. note to end on. Yeah. I'm curious There's about what they're going day. to do. With the second season, because apparently the second season is supposed to have a brand new cast, not the originals. I that would be super surprised. I and think, actually, I think in the promotional material I've seen, it's the same cast again. I thought I they read, might introduce new characters, but I think that's it. There, that's I think that's what it was. Is that they're actually introducing like two new characters or something? Yeah, but I'm really but curious no. about what they could do unless they just repeat the same stuff they did with the last one. Like just, I mean, there's still plenty of things they can do. I think. Like, they could just introduce new characters from different teams of development. And then suddenly you have a whole new cast of thi or things to base scenes around. 
Yeah. Like maybe introduce like a character who's a writer or whatever. I just think it's all gonna be like shenanigan based, like how the first one was. And it probably will. It's it you know it's a comedy. It's a lighthearted gag. Series. Yeah, I just I don't know who the main character is going to be because if they introduce two new characters, Alba. I guarantee it's still going to follow Alba. Probably. Mm-hmm. That'd be kind of weird to have her as like a side character. Yeah. I mean, I've seen, like, media do that before, where the previous hero is now just, like, her previous main character is now a support member of the supporting cast. What have you, What anime was that? I don't know if I've seen an anime, did I said media. Oh, I thought you said anime. Movies and whatever. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, I don't think I've ever seen them do that in an anime. Yeah, that, that'd be really different. Yeah. I mean, like... In video games, we'll do stuff like that. How, like, in the Phoenix Wright series, Ace Attorney. Like, in the first few games, it's Phoenix Wright. Yeah. And then, later on, Phoenix, like, appears as one of, like, uh, the defendants or something like that. Hmm. Or, like, uh, Eyewitness or something. I forget. Yeah. But he, like, they, they disguised him, but you could obviously tell that it was Phoenix. And it was, like, yeah. stuff like that. But I mean that that's just cool. I, I thought I thought that was cool, even though I have no, no it would, I know nothing about it. It would be tournament. cool, but it's cool when the series will do that when they're willing to like just hey, we're done with this person. Yeah, but we're that's like on. a well developed series. Yeah. Like New Game's not there. It's yeah. It's first season and it's twelve episodes and it's shenanigan yeah. based. Dude, Love Live did it after the two seasons. Yeah, well, people, you probably get tired after a while of hearing the same people sing and do stuff over and over for <laughs> 24 plus episodes. It was Isn't only 24 it? episodes in a movie. Or was it? There might have been 13. Oh, yeah, that's one thing. New Game actually has an OVA that I did not really? watch. Really? Yeah, I did I not didn't watch, watch it either. It. I forgot about it, and I forgot to ask you if you'd watched it. Yeah, no, it's not on Crunchyroll, which was where I went to watch the series in the first place, so... Oh, well... I missed it. Mm, it might... It actually, it might actually just starting to get released, like, with the second season, maybe. I don't yeah, know. That... The website that I had gone on said, like, oh, the second season's out, and I'm like, what? How? And then it had the OVA <laughs> listed, so I don't know. It's, it's all yeah. different. I don't know. But uh, what else can we touch on? I mean, I feel like we've covered a lot of it now. Story, character... Yeah, I think I th- one thing that this anime did that's really common in others is having like yeah unseen parents and having just like a distant voice. Yeah, but the thing that I thought was weird is that the mom mentioned Alba's dad, but we never saw yeah. anything or heard his voice. I mean, that's common. It's Moe girls. I think I remember seeing one guy the entire show. Oh yeah, there there Not were counting, like, like a few, but I mean like there was like that dad and that one gag I mentioned earlier. But other oh, yeah. than that, I mean they didn't have faces, but yeah. But I mean, this is her dad. We didn't hear. We heard about him. We didn't hear anything from him or see anything about him. Where yeah, is no, he? it was kind of. It was kind of weird. That's why I'm like that's but that's what my mind is right now. It's like you know. <laughs> What happened to the dad? Is it a dark secret? What happened? <laughs> nah. It's not uncommon. It's it's about the show is about the cute girls. One so minute. you don't show characters that aren't cute girls if you can help it. That's kind of like bad but true. <laughs> That's how it is, man. Yeah. I watch Love Live. Don't know the male characters there on that show. Got to cater to the audience. But uh Yeah. I don't know. There is couple things i wanted to mention um there was a really strong visual gag in the first episode that i forgot to mention that i thought was like really funny and clever um because it opens up with this like washed blue color uh palette right before it introduces the main character Mm -hmm. oh so it just shows a bunch of people in a subway yeah yeah, yeah. and then as they're getting off there's like a million of them Mm -hmm. an arrow points down at one of them and it's alba's head it's yeah. just like almost indistinguishable. That was just a really good visual gag that I thought was hilarious. Yeah, I thought that was pretty funny. Like they they weren't afraid of like putting like text and arrows and stuff on screen. Yeah, just because it's a comedy. Because yeah. like if you watch like serious not like... stuff, it would have to, you you would have to notice it. The yeah. the animators don't do it for you. 
yeah. No, but that was, yeah, that was about it. I just wanted to mention that one note because I thought it was, I thought that was a really good gag. Mm-hmm. I kind of wish they'd kept up that same visual level of uh, visual gags on that kind of style. But even yeah. just as a one-off, it was funny, and uh, I thought it was a really good way to open the episode. I mean, it was a good opener in general. It set the tone for it already within like yeah. the first few seconds. Now the first episode was strong. Mm-hmm. It started fairly strong. And I think the ending episode was generically pretty good. I guess. yeah, there wasn't anything super like yeah. amazing going on there, but when... like it wrapped up the characters. It showed us, hey, they're all happy. We did it. One thing that I noticed in like the last episode, like for shows for me, I suffer from secondhand embarrassment really bad. <laughs> so. Yeah. When Ninichi and um, Hajime were talking about the game at the release, I was just like, <laughs> "Oh my god!" Oh. It was... See, that one didn't get me. About what one that did get me really bad was when Alba was first getting introduced to everybody. Oh yeah, that was just awkward. I was just like, "Oh no, no stop!" Yeah, when she was trying to deal with um, Hifumi with like trying to talk to her, I was just like, "Yeah." <laughs> <laughs> oh my god <laughs> i don't know i'm glad that it didn't keep up that kind of style of comedy yeah i i, I, I couldn't watch it. it i i hate stuff like that i hate that kind secondhand of... embarrassment is too much for me i can't <laughs> yeah. i can't handle it I'm well at all but i mean uh, i guess that's a good thing if an anime does that that means it's effective yeah it means it's uh actually like having an effect on you yeah you're empathizing with the characters enough but I don't know what else to talk about. We pretty much covered a overall baseline with this. At least yeah, I, I mean, that kind of... I think I've said most of the things I wanted to say about it. Yeah. If there was one thing I wanted to say, um, I was thinking about it. This, actually, I thought it was pretty weird for a Forkoma show like this. Because I've watched, I think, three Forkoma anime. New game. One called Tanaka-kun is Always Listless. And, um, ah, what, what's that one we both watched? Uh, my husband is something. Oh, I can't understand what my husband is saying. That one. Yeah. That one was weird. It was that really one was weird. weird. It was like but we're not talking about 10 minute episodes and it's like super weird yeah. stuff. But no, the other one I watched for coma, uh, I thought it was just kind of interesting. The contrast because that show was like super slow paced. And like this real, not like bad, but it was oh. like it was really long build up to every joke. It was very, I don't know. It really wanted to set the mood like really strongly. That sounds really. It was weird. a good. It was a good show, but the humor was like really dry. Oh. And like there wasn't like this huge like a new game. You know, every joke is delivered with like a lot of emphasis. Where in that show, the joke was often pretty like understated. Mm. Like a character. They, you didn't get those big, what? Okay. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> it was just, it was like half the time someone would just be like, ah, uh, huh. Oh, that's lame as heck. That's super Dude, lame. Dude, the show's actually super good. I'm just describing it poorly. But I thought the contrast was really interesting between the two shows. Yeah. Well. It was just like very different from other four comas I've watched, so. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Any final thoughts on the show? Um... I guess we can end it off with like a final question. Be like, would we recommend this? What's your opinion? I would recommend it, yeah. It's easy to watch. Um, and more than that, it's cute. It's funny. The gags land more often than not. It's not very serious. So if you're looking for something like heavy drama or very down to earth, look somewhere else. That's... But overall, it's a good show. And I would recommend it pretty Without much hesitation, actually. Okay, because that'd be, like, about the same answer I would give. I would recommend this if you like really lighthearted stuff. If you are really into, like, space drama and (laughs) stuff like that, this is probably not for you. But if you like really out there jokes that are in your face and obvious, hilarious reactions that are both visually and uh, audibly pleasing, and you like cute girls, watch this. 
Especially if you like two girls. It's, yeah, that's pretty Character much. Character design was on par. Like, yeah. Not on par. It was like, that was exceptional character design. Yeah, I thought that was it like was the really one good. thing I thought. It super nailed it. All the girls are, in fact, cute. And, like, they, they made them, dis- like, able to distinguish between. A lot yeah. of anime is like, oh, here's generic person one, here's generic yeah. person two. Dude, have you seen, like, the A1 Pictures comparisons? Uh... Where you can take, like, Kirito's face and put it on another A1 male protagonist oh, that looks the same. yeah. That, yeah. that They had different characteristics, but also physical differences. Yeah. Which is good. So... In design. Yeah. Anyway, I think we're going to leave it with that. So, overall, great anime for people that are really into this stuff. Watch it. It's really good. But, um, John, anything last, just final, that you want to say in general? No, I think I've about covered everything I wanted to get out. Okay. So, I think we are going to leave you guys with that. If you guys have any recommendations on... Let me adjust my chair here. Um, if you guys have any recommendations on what we should talk about next time, it could be from New Game. We could talk about specific characters, specific points, given the episode might not be as long because this anime is very short. If You, you yeah. can recommend us an entire anime and we could probably watch it for you and talk about it for a while like how we just did here so leave those suggestions if you have any in the comment section below and if you like the video give it a like there's a thumbs up button down there or however youtube changes its algorithm or layout there should be somewhere where you can like a video click that for us we'd really appreciate it and if you like the video more and you want to see more stuff like this you can check out more videos that i have or hit the subscribe button over there. It should be next to the like button somewhere next to my f- anime face, like down down in the corner there. Um, and you can see more stuff that I put out. I'll link John's social media stuff down in the description as well so you guys can see what he does on Twitter and all the other kind of stuff. But um, I think that pretty much covers it. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will, we will, Catch you guys later. Bye.